you need an alcohol lamp, you need a varnish drain and a varnish bottle of uh, a full on bottle of clean, clean varnish. And of course, that's in the book, and, and this contains gum sandarac, grain alcohol, and lavender oil. And what the varnish does for the image, for the plate, is it protects it and it also um, prevents it from, uh, it protects it from handling. And because the silver and the collodion um, is, can be damaged really easy, and it also uh, it also um, keeps it from tarnishing, you know, like silver does, and so it's really good. Negatives are especially important to varnish. Um, I'm going to varnish this image today um, to show you how it's done, and uh, you can see the process of this. It's really simple. It's a quick process. It's a lot like collodion. First thing we want to do is we want to get our, our alcohol lamp lit and burning. And you don't want to have this stuff too close. It is flammable. There is alcohol in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently brush the image off just real quick, just so nothing burns onto it. And I'm going to uh, gently heat the plate up. Um, tin or tin types or aluminum types heat up really quick. Glass takes a little longer. If you're doing this in cold, you want to do it. Um, you want to do it very slowly because you'll have the plate shatter on you. How hot do you want this? Um, you want it hot enough to where you know it's a little. It's, it's uncomfortable to hold. Uh, you don't want it so hot that you can't because you're going to be. You're going to have your fingertips on it. So you got. You got to. You got to find that balance. Some people say. I actually say in my book about body temperature, blood temperature, because that's what the 19th century photographer said. I like it a little bit hotter than that. That would be 98 degrees. I'd probably like it, you know, like 120 degrees or so. So once the plate, I overheat the plate just a little bit because um, you'll see why. Because I set it down, it's cooling off now. I close my alcohol lamp off. I get my drain bottle out, just like clothing, and I get my regular varnish bottle out. And by the time I'm doing all of this, it's cooling off. So. I need to let it cool off even a little bit more. That is hot. <laughs> um, so I want to make sure there are no um, n nothing sitting on top of the image. And once you can put your fingers on it comfortably, which I still can't. Um, wow. I'm a wimp. <laughs> just um, you just like collodion. You flow. This is going to be more. The viscosity is changing a little bit. Collodion is a little syrupy. This is more like water. You want to do this quickly, but you want to do it, you know, um, very methodically. Um, you don't drain the, this varnish that I pour out back into this bottle because you don't want to contaminate this bottle with little pieces of junk. So that's why you have a drain bottle. And what you do is you just pour, again, a nice puddle out in the center of the image. Go up to that corner over here, go over to that corner over there, go down to that bottom corner and be, do it slowly because it is really and you want it kind of to seep into the image and it's really really runny so and then get it like that and it's covered the whole image and then just what you don't shake it or anything like like clothing you just set it up like this and let it drain and just hold it there mm -hmm. just hold it there don't rock it because you'll get lines on it just hold it there like that I tap the corner of it a little bit and then as that's setting up, I'll take a paper towel and just try to wick off um, the excess varnish as it's going through here. I just kind of let it wick off. That's a beautiful varnish there. That's, that's just really gorgeous like glass, you know. Uh, nice protectant, protecting cover layer on there for you. And then in about a minute or so, I'm going to go ahead and close my bottles up. About a minute or so, I'm going to um, fire the lamp back up. We'll get that ready. And why I want to heat it up again is because it, it initiates the, the the curing process of the varnish. And that way, because right now it's really tacky and sticky, and you'd mar the face of that image really easy. You don't want to do it too early because, or you don't want to get it over the flame too early because the alcohol is still there and the plate will go. 
catch on fire. And I've done that too. And that's exciting. You can blow it out, but it's, it, it sizzles the surface. It's kind of an interesting effect, actually. But, you know, 30, 40 seconds, let it air out a little bit, and then just take it over the flame, just gently. Don't, don't get too crazy with this. We're not going to, you know, it is going over the edge, so I know the alcohol is gone, or it would be on fire right now. We're just going to get it warmed up again enough to kind of set that varnish to cure it. You're going to start smelling this now. It smells really good. You'll hear everybody talking, about, oh, varnish, it's the great, you know, the smell is wonderful. I guess I do too, I say that too. But we're just going to get a nice, nice even kind of, when you see the smoke rising from it, you're probably pretty good to go. See it cooking a little bit? Oh, yeah, 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 I do. And you smell that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's nice. great, isn't it? So, as, as we are, we're careful with our flame. That is the varnished image, and it's ready to sit on the rack. And cool. About